Hey guys, my name is Reese Alley. I'm a partner and CEO at a company called SCA Construction. How to get a customer to say yes, whether they're going to do the job or they're not going to do the job before you leave the estimate. And I think this is so important because as you guys scale in size and whatever level you're at, it's a complete waste of time to go to someone's house and not have an answer before you leave. Because writing an estimate, depending on what software you use and however you do it, takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort, and more importantly, from a job forecasting standpoint of what you've got in your pipeline, what's going to sell from a production standpoint, and what's going to be transferred over is really, really important. And if you don't understand what closing rate you should have and what jobs you can expect to sell, it's pretty hard to run a business. And so beyond filtering them on the phone, which I can make a whole nother video about that before you get to the estimate, so you don't drive 30 minutes to an hour and waste all your time at the estimate, once you get there and you're explaining everything that you have going on and everything they've got going on and you understand what they're trying to accomplish, and I'm not going to make this video about that, that's a whole other conversation, but once you've gone through the whole topic of what they want done, what they're trying to accomplish, and how you can fix it, you need to talk about their budget. And I know that's a sensitive topic for a lot of people. Money is one of the most sensitive topics for anybody in the United States and generally around. But you have to have that conversation. And I promise you, it's more normal than you might think. And a lot of people take this stance where talking about money or how much they make or how much they have is this super sensitive thing that nobody wants to bring up. And it's rude and it's brashful and it's something that you don't want to mention. But that's so far from the truth. Because at the end of the day, you as the contractor need to design the best product that you possibly can to fit within their budgetary constraints. Because at the lowest end of the spectrum, you know, they can't even afford to do the job. They can't even afford to fix the problem. And on the best case scenario, they have all the money in the world and they can do as big of a solution as they need to fix their problem. But somewhere in reality lies. And so maybe that's not the worst, maybe that's not the best. It's somewhere in the middle. And so if you decide how much money they have by asking them, hey, you know, here's how much this option would cost at the lower end. Here's how much this would cost the middle end, the upper end. Explaining the differences of what those things are going to offer you, that's going to make the difference of them telling you, hey, well, that lower end sounded, you know, good, but I don't think it's going to solve our problem. But the middle end sounds really good. And you might say, well, that middle end is going to be $5,000, where the lower end is going to be $3,000, and the upper end is going to be somewhere around the $10,000 range. But this is what it gives you. And most of the time they will tell you, well, you know, that upper end range, it seems great, but we really don't need all that. We can really get away with the middle range. And, and that's when you start asking, okay, so I'm assuming you want to keep this under $5,000 or around that number. You know, does that sound about right? And typically they'll say yes or no. And they'll tell you, well, you know, I was really thinking about spending six or $7,000, but if we can keep it under that, I'd like to get it on the schedule. And then that's where you can kind of make the close and then talk about, well, when would you like to get this done? How would you like to do it? And all that kind of thing. But the thing is, if you don't talk about budgeting, then you're going to go send some super out of field estimate that's way higher than they were expecting to spend. And also you can make that analogy. Just let them know, hey, I really hate to ask for your budget, but just so I don't send you some out of park estimate that's completely useless that you're just going to think I'm a crazy person for, you know, does something around 6,000 bucks seem reasonable? Because that's what I'm thinking it's going to be. And so if you say that, I believe, and I know this because I've done it on thousands of estimates, that they will tell you their budget and they'll at least give you some kind of ballpark. And if they don't, and they're super, you know, hold their cards to their chest and don't want to tell you anything and whatever, they're probably not going to do anything. Because if they were planning on doing something, they probably already researched how much it costs and were willing to spend that amount of money. And so I hope this helps. I hope this is a good analogy. I hope this is a good example. And if you guys have more questions about this, please ask because I really think it'll help you guys close more jobs. If you don't have a closing rate that's around 30 to 40%, I don't believe you're doing it right. Because you can still charge a lot of money and make a great margin and still close 30 or 40%. If you're in the 10% or 20% range, you're either charging way too much or you're not providing a good product or you're not good at sales. And so it's one of those things 
But if you guys listen to this, I really think you can do a lot better or just keep doing what you're doing if you're already doing those things. I hope you are. So let me guys know what you think. Please like and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next one.